Ari Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahusha, Ba'ashem Rakak with Das. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is C.S. Elohim, to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. This truth is the real order out of chaos. Okay, auto ap chaos. Okay, which that means a Latin expression meaning order out of chaos. Okay, they say that is Masonic. Okay, a Masonic um, expression. Okay, a motto of the 33rd degree. Um, it says, and having the same illusion of luck et tenebris, which uh, see, which see in this work. Okay. So um this truth is the real order out of chaos. You see, we we know uh through the spirit that the so called white man creates the problem and then he tries to bring out the solution, okay, to, to afford his agenda. Okay. Now one of the pro one is the one of the agendas that they're gonna uh bring out is doing away with the cash money okay and bring in the chipping okay and uh when they bring out the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast there's going to be a lot of chaos out here that's going to force people to um try to take that chip okay they're going to try to force people hands into taking that chip but the elect they're not going to take that chip. The elect is the chosen people that the Lord has uh, set, slated for uh, slavery. That's not going to take that chip. Okay? And the elect is going to be in order through the chaos that's, that's about to come. Okay? And this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 33. It says, For God, the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son name is Yahweh Shah, okay, for God, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, is not the author of confusion. Okay? You go into the word chaos. Okay? It says complete disorder and confusion. So Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is not the author of the chaos that's that's about to come. Okay? But of peace. You go into the word peace. Says freedom from disturbance, quiet tranquility. Freedom from or from or the cessation of war or violence. Okay, and right here it says order, which is a synonym. Okay, so the Lord is not the author of confusion, but of peace. He's not the author of chaos. But he's the author of order. Okay. And you can look at everything that's in the uh the world, the the way how um everything goes according to nature, that's the order that the Lord set up. Okay? Now the Lord is the scriptures the scriptures going to he he does create evil and he creates peace. Okay. We know we know that the book of uh, Isaiah forty five and seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I the Lord do all these things. Okay. So what happens is you have the right hand and you have the left hand. On the right hand, you have the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay, which that's the order. That's the, the way that the Lord wants the Israelites to um to to, to how do he wants them to live. Okay? And then you have evil, which on the evil side, the left side, that's Satan. Okay? And and uh, Satan cannot do anything unless he gets permission 
from Yahweh, the, the, the Father, to do it. Okay? So Satan is out here causing confusion. And uh, he's doing it because the Lord allows him to do it. But Satan is the one who's working through the so-called white man to do these things that, that they're doing. Okay? Because ultimately, the Lord has a plan, and his, his plan is to bring that order out of the chaos. Okay? So he's saying, Satan, the Most High is basically saying, Satan, go ahead, go fuck, fuck him up. Do what you got to do. Okay? But, but my people, I have a plan for my people. Okay? It says, for Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is not the author of confusion, but of peace, okay, of order, as in all churches of the saints, okay? Satan, Satan says that a man can, uh, you know, you can eat whatever you want to. He tries to distort the scriptures, but we know through this, this is just an example through the Bible that the Lord set up an order of what animals we're, we're, we're not supposed to eat and what animals we are supposed to eat. Like, we're not supposed to eat any uh, pork, okay? The Bible says don't even touch it when it's, uh, when it's dead, okay? Uh, we're not supposed to... Uh, we're not supposed to eat crabs or shrimp. Okay, and and uh, certain other um things, catfish and so on and so forth, chameleon, lizards, snails. Okay, we're not supposed to eat these these type of things. Okay, that's the order that the Lord set up, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people they end up with a lot of health issues. Okay, because of, because they don't have no order to how they eat, they just eat anything. Now the scriptures right here. 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, because in this society, it's a lot of uh, processed uh, GMO bull crap, okay? But the Lord isn't, he didn't make that, okay? 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, let all things be done decently and in, in, in order, okay? So the men of the Lord, okay, before you came into this truth, you was, you was out of order, okay? You was living lawless, okay? You was in a confused state of mind, okay? And the Bible says, uh, confusing, you have a confusion of faces out here, okay? This is Daniel 9 and 7. Oh Lord, righteousness belongs unto you, but unto us, confusion of faces is at this day. To the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel. So all the Israelites are going to have a confusion of faces. And they're going to be confused because they don't know what the heck to do. They don't know what, what, what's going on. It says that are near and that are far off through all the countries whither thou hast driven them. Because of their trespass that they have trespassed against you. So there's a confusion of faces. Okay. And... The Lord knows who 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 are His uh, men, okay. But the the is is up to us to to use that discernment on who 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 are, who is an Israelite and who isn't, okay. So it says, let all things be done decently and in order, okay. Because when you come into this truth and you see a so-called um, white-looking man. And you may think, oh, that's just an Edomite, or, you know, that's a regular Caucasian. Well, that's because that's confusing, okay? When you got to look at the order of things and look at, hey, the Lord, why is this Why is this so-called white man acting like a so-called black man, okay? Why? Why? Because that's the order that the Lord set up. It's not about because somebody has melanin, because that person that may have melanin, could be a white person on it uh, or Edomite as we say a Edomite on the inside okay so the scripture says let all things be done decently and in order okay 
and in peace. The scripture says as much as possible, okay, live peaceably among all, amongst all men, okay, be in order amongst all men, because we don't know who's who's who. We have a, an idea, okay, who's the Edomite, who, who's the Israelite. We have an idea, but we still have to be uh, doing things decently. This is John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you, right? Oh, this also goes into, you know, the comforter, because as I was, you know, going into, that it's going to be a lot of chaos out here, okay? But in order to, to, to get through the chaos, you have to, 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 to be able to, to, to remain in order through that, okay? Like, like uh, Daniel in the lion's den, okay? When he was thrown in the lion's den, he didn't, you know, necessarily uh, panic, but he still stayed in the spirit. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay? When they was thrown in the fire, they didn't panic, okay? They probably were seeking in their boots, but the Lord still protected them, okay? It says, peace I leave with you, which is order, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. And what the world is going to give you? What is this world going to give you? That RFID chip. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Okay? So so the, the men of the Lord, okay, they're, they're not going to be troubled, okay, when that when that time comes. Okay? This is... um. Psalms 125 and 3. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. And what is that talking about? When the so-called white man starts um, bringing this chaos, because he has a plan, okay, to bring this new world order. But this truth is the, new, the real new world order, okay? When the so-called white man bring, tries to bring this new world order... It's going to be a lot of chaos out here. You're going to have martial law, famines, okay, diseases, and so on and so forth. And a lot of people aren't going to know what to do. But it, it, and it might even it might even touch some of the men of the Lord. Okay, you might you might find yourself you personally you might find yourself in a situation where you might have to go through not eating. Okay, where you might. Um, have to, uh, you know, deal with, 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 with a disease. Okay. But, but guess what? The scripture says that, 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 that rod, okay. That, 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 uh, that chaos, okay. Confusion. Okay. It's not going to rest on you. Okay. It says, lest the righteous put forth their hand onto the iniquity. Okay. So the Lord ain't going to put you through through something that you can't handle okay he's not going to put you through through uh more than you can bear okay that's uh first corinthians 10 to 13 there is no temptation taking you but such is common to man and the word temptation means the want of doing something unwise or wrong it says but god is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So when when this um, these plagues come upon the world, and you might end up get, being in a situation where you are, where you are uh, faced with that plague, okay? And I say it's even you might even have to get put to death, okay? The Lord is going to make a way for you to get up out of that, okay? And and and, and to be in order when when that time comes, okay? The scriptures talk about you know don't don't worry about what you will say when they grab you up because it's the Lord who speaks, okay? The holy the Holy Spirit. It says, um, "Lest the righteous put forth their hands unto iniquity." Okay, you you end up being uh, in a famine. And the scriptures talk about we're in an hour of temptation. Okay, you in a famine, you might not have ate for three days. Okay, the Lord ain't gonna gonna allow you 
if you are a man of the Lord, he's not going to put you through more than you can bear to, to where you're going to end up potentially taking that chip. Okay? Because you're going to know in the spirit that, hey, the Lord, the Lord, how about some of is going to crack them clouds. Okay? This is uh, Proverbs 11 and uh, 14. Where no counsel is, the people fall. And that's what a lot of people are going to do because they don't they don't take they don't take heed to, to sound advice. Okay? The people they're gonna fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Okay? Because we brothers are gonna be able to go to other brothers during that time, okay, and, and um know what to do. Right now we, we know what to do. When when certain situations may happen, you go to the brothers. Okay, and if you're a spiritual person, you're going to listen to what the brothers say. Okay, this is um, Exodus 14, and I'm, I'm just going to get a couple of these scriptures, okay? Because what, like I said, is, is the scriptures say that the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon a lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. When that chaos comes, okay? We're not gonna have to go out here and go go uh do do much of anything, okay? Because guess what? In Exodus 14 and 14, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Okay? <laughs> what what we just talked about? Freedom from disturbance, quiet and tranquility, freedom from from or the ces ces cessation ces cessation of war or violence. So you might not have to go out there. And go go uh um fight or or, or you know but that's what's go that's what a lot of a lot of people are gonna be doing during these race rides a lot of niggas gonna be getting killed okay but but guess what we know that the Lord gonna fight for us so we ain't gonna have to go out there and go do no rides okay because that's that's the people who 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 don't have any um uh wise counsel okay that's the, 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 the fall back. Okay. It says the Deuteronomy 1 and 30. The Lord God which goes before you, he shall fight for you according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. And the Lord did a lot for, for us in when we was in Egypt. Okay? He brought the same plagues that, that are going to come to America. Okay? And did he not deliver deliver our people? Okay, Deuteronomy 3 and 22. You shall not fear them. Okay, so forget what the so-called white man does. If you don't take this chip, you know, we're going to come after all you people. You know, or you can't feed your family. Don't fear, fear none of that. It says, for the Lord God, for the Lord, your God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, he shall fight for you. Okay, Deuteronomy 20 and 4. For the Lord your God, Yahweh Bashem El Shai, is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. Okay? So when this, this, this chaos comes, the men of the Lord are going to be in the right spirit already. And they're going to be delivered through those, those times because guess what? Yahweh Bashem El Shai is going to fight for, for those men. Okay? And Lord willing, I'm one of those men. You know? But, uh... With that, you know, Lord willing, you know, I want to say uh, Salam Warm till next time.